we included as the target audience um, individuals who are what we called influencers. Um, that they would have some ability to shape the opinions of people in the public sector, whether it's staff, it's ICT ministers, um, or folks in, in a CIO office. Um, they could be the, from the private sector, they could be consultants that are fulfilling contracts. And what we found was this group of people is uh, the most knowledgeable, um, they've got the most confidence uh, that they can impact change. So I think it's a, a good intersection of what both you know, Rom and Edmund and, and Chris brought up, is that we need to um, get a good hook for the, the public sector. One of the, um, in addition to the, what we've talked about here today and tying this to uh, SDGs, uh, something that came up in our session in The Hague the summer at Eurodig uh, was why don't we look outside of SGDs and, and think of something more purely commercial. What are the, the, the really grand technical programs that are a little more commercial in interest that we want to tie this to? Whether it's you know an IoT project and smart cities, um, some other sort of project that might have a little more wow factor and be more heavily funded, that that's some place we could also consider influencing. Uh, not to say that inclusion is not important, it is, they could be parallel paths, uh, but that is something that we want to consider next year in focusing our efforts. So we've, we've spent this first year of DC DNSI, and, and thank you all for participating, it's great to have you here, and, and, and I know the majority of you are on our mailing list, and we appreciate that. Um, as we transition to next year, we want to get more strategic and more tactical, take all the learnings that we had and now uh, actually push those out and, and fulfill this uh, responsibility of evangelizing and, and highlighting what the value proposition is. And then we, we know, as uh, AJ had mentioned, we've got a body of data um, from the UASG that can then help people with the implementation perspective. Uh, so that's what we look to focus on this next year. Uh, so in close, we're, um, in the coming weeks, you'll, you can expect a report from us as we get the transcript. Uh, we'll define what those next steps are that we are proposing to send it out to the group and how we can uh, really get a lot more tactical in uh, our efforts to evangelize and somehow work UA into public sector day-to-day -day life. Uh, with that, I want to let everybody go somewhat close to time, but were there any final questions? Sure. Very briefly answering to the gentleman here. If you find a page that has problems with universal acceptance, go to uasg.tech. On the top bar, you see log issue. There you can file a complaint. It will go straight to ICANN, and they'll be able to process it. Thank you. Um, yeah, this is Mark. Uh, I can verify that that actually works. It's staffed, and it works because Microsoft receives issues from there. Perfect. Good to know. Well, thanks everyone for your. Oh, one oh, more. Very Emily. quick one. I forgot to mention I've got some leaflets that highlight the summary of the IDN World Report. If you'd like one, to come and get one. Thanks. Thanks for your time, everyone. Take care.